again my lovely yarny peeps lovely to see you all yes it's about time i got my bum back on here and did a bit of a catch up um this weekend i didn't do an awful lot um i was going to do another video but uh, hubby and i had a bit of time together in the garden we did some gardening and we just sat in the sunshine chatted nattered fell asleep dribbled like you do had a glass of wine or two and just thoroughly enjoyed the weekend and being with each other is a nice quiet weekend. Um, the girls were out so lovely and very excited because on this Saturday we go away for a week's holiday in Devon. We've got a gorgeous cottage for hubby's 60th birthday and we're going down to Devon. He's taking all his fishing gear with him. I'm taking all my crochet gear with me. And we've got a few outings tripped and lots of lovely meals to have. And we're, where we are is very quiet. There's only an access road and the cottage is right on the beach. The only reason for um, traffic to go down there is to get two cottages. Uh, and within a minute's walk, we have a wonderful seafood shack and a nice pub. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a really, we just want a chilled out week. And we'll probably go and do a National Trust property somewhere. And I will take photos and videos and I might not upload anything until we get back. We are back on the 20th of May, I think. I think it's the 20th. Yeah. Um, I'll be pulling the winner for my 200 subscriber giveaway this Friday but I probably won't get it posted out until a week on Saturday when we're back off holiday. Sorry but life is just so busy. I work full time and you know we've got family coming around and all sorts so yes I will get it in the post as soon as I can but it won't be till we're back on holiday and hopefully I won't be far off 300 subscribers and I will have some more things to show you for the 300 subscribers giveaway but for now I've got some updates to do I'm going to jump in and out of this video today because I need to do it in between doing other things but I hope to get it up and live sometime today which is Wednesday so I'll be back soon with a bit more and here she is back again this is the first thing I've got to show you, which is the Granny Square Bucket Hat by the wonderful Steals the Show Crochet and Chefs, our Super V. It's not pink V, it's blue. And she has written this pattern, well, she's done a tutorial for this pattern on her channel. I love it. And I'll put all the links below that I talk about everything that I'm making today and yarn used and all that sort of thing. This is my hat. I guess you're going to want to see it on me. I love it. I do. Off you go, head. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a super pattern. Really easy, quick. And I did mine in a cotton and acrylic blend. It's one that Hobbycraft sells in the UK. And I'll link all the info below. And I love it. I can see me making, perhaps making another one of these. But all ready for my holiday. So I've got a yarn haul and a new make that I've started. This is the yarn, uh, Shawl in a Ball Fab. I bought six of these. I can only show you four at the moment because I'm already on my second ball with my project. So I love this yarn. Look at the little delicate twinkle in that. The colours are stunning they're absolutely beautiful and that is about right the color there showing up shawl in a ball fab there is 400 
and 95 yards, 420 meters, 150 grams, five millimeter hook recommended, 40% cotton, 30% polyester, 20% acrylic and 10% wool. So it's not for everyone because not everybody likes anything with wool in it, but I'm fine. But oh, you wouldn't know it's got wool in it. It's lovely and soft. I absolutely, it's one of my favorite yarns in the whole world, shawl in a ball. I am going to have to try and get as many different colorways of this as I can. I just want it on a shelf and to look at it and ogle it. I've got a top that I've made in shawl in a ball, actually not shawl in a ball. I don't think it was shawl in a ball fab. It was the prism yarn. It's the one that was in my giveaway. Um, my first, my 100 subscriber giveaway. So that's winging its way to someone. Um, I'll have to wear it on, a, on another video sometime so you can see it. I love it. It's my favourite top. And yeah, this shawl in the side bought six. I'm already on my second one. And I'm using my Susan Bates number five millimetre crochet hook. And I'm loving it. The ergonomic I'm liking. So, but this is how far I've got with my shawl at the moment. And that's folded in half. I've got some pictures to add to it. At the, to add to my video at the end. Um, and I'm just coming onto the second layer of the, it. Doesn't it drape beautifully? And the colours. I absolutely love the colours. I don't know if you can even just see the twinkle in it. It's so soft. It is so soft. I can't wait to finish it and wear it. I'm going to have to get an outfit to go with it because I love this colour. I love this colour. Definitely my colour. Lovely. Not with this hat though. Not quite right. So that's by Expression Fibre Arts um, Chandy. And again, I'll link everything below. The next thing I've got to show you is my next square for the Stitch a Week that the crazy poppy lady Angela is doing. I haven't got a clue what week we're on unless I go and look at the video, but I'll write that in the comments below. And this was, it's the Star Stitch, I think it's called. And it's not very square at the moment. It needs blocking. And that colour doesn't show up right. It, ah, that's better. It's a little bit better. It's um, not as deep as that. It's a bit of a softer um, sort of pinky peachy colour than that. A coral, I suppose. It's more a coral colour. But that's my next square. And I'm really pleased with that one. Um, what's next? Next, I have got, I'm almost finished the bees on my cottage core. This is the cottage core crochet along 2022. I can't remember the name of the lady whose pattern it is in, it is, but I will link it below. Absolutely loving this really is great to do. I was really worried I wasn't going to enjoy this. I wasn't sure about all the, the patterns. But I've loved it. I've loved every bit. And I'm using Papatia yarn. I'll link that below. And the colour, I don't think it, they have colours, it's numbers, but I'll put it down there. And I'm using, for the white, it's a baby, it's a baby yarn. That I'm using so it's all incredibly soft and squishy and snuggly and sorry for my uh my uh stitch marker clonking on the on the table but yeah this is a super pattern and it is called cottage core and we're doing it as a crochet along with um kim crochet and knit and melissa and Daniel and, and Angela. Um, so yeah, but absolutely.
absolutely enjoying it and there's no rush on it. We've got all year to do this, which I'm so pleased because I'm doing three mosaic blankets and they've all got a year to do. So I think I've got two more things to show you that I've actually finished and then that'll be it. See you soon. Back again. I hadn't put the dresses within easy reach. But I'm going to show you now. I am making, I showed you in a um, previous video, I bought some James Seabrett twinkle yarn, baby yarn. And uh, when I was on holiday and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I showed you that I was making the Stradbake dress for my oldest granddaughter, who is Freya. And I've now finished it. Here, I'm going to put some pictures in because I, they look better in the photographs. You can get it all in. But if I stand up, you can probably see. It's such a pretty little dress. And it's a super little pattern. Can you see the twinkle in the yarn? And I put two little buttons on. The, the straps do come undone. So they're easy, easy button holes. Easy to get on and off for little fingers. So that's, that's Freya's little dress. There we go. And then I did a bod pattern. Bag of day crochet crystal and I did a little one for Hestia so they're similar but not exactly the same and I put it didn't need buttons but she's got to have buttons like a big sister and this is the little this is this little one isn't it gorgeous this one's for so that's a little dress for Freya and Hestia our little granddaughters. Uh, and then one more thing I've got to show you is some buttons. I buy these buttons. Sorry for the crinkling. From a lady in Scotland. She is in... She is in Inverugi in Peterhead. And she makes resin buttons. And I love... Every now and again, I get myself a few. I'm starting to collect buttons. And the one in the middle is a little freebie that I get. But she also dyes her own yarns. Rainbow Fusions. Yeah, she's an indie dyer of luxury wool. Whoops. Fingers. She's an indie dyer of luxury wool and natural yarns in bright and vibrant colorways and she's got some gorgeous gorgeous yarns on there her customer service is brilliant i think i got these within two or three days of ordering them she's up in scotland i'm right down on the south coast of england so and that's rainbow fusions and there you go you always get a little thank you for choosing us Please remember, snap, tag and share us when sharing your items on social media. So I shall do that. I shall probably put something on Instagram. But they're lovely. I don't find them expensive because they're handmade. And um, I've got a few colours now, but I might get a few more. I'm definitely going to get some of her yarn. Um, not bought any yet, but it's... Quite reasonably priced, I think, and I love the bright colours. Love the bright colours. So that's it. I will pop a few pictures in. I don't I might do them in between sections, see how I get on, have a little play with my video editing this time. But the last thing I want to say is thank you so much. I have got so many more new subscribers now. Thank you for coming over and joining my little corner of the YouTube streets. Thank you for everyone who keeps coming back and watching my videos. Please press the subscribe, the um, notification bell. Then you'll know when I put a new one up. If you can like my videos, I would be so grateful. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm not holding a gun to anyone's head. 
there are far more people out there. If you don't subscribe, then do subscribe some. But my subscribers are very precious. And I thank you for all the time you invest in coming over here and um, seeing my channel and coming back and revisiting. It's so kind of you. And I really am incredibly grateful. On my way now to 300, I think I'm about 30 odd away, something like that. Might be less now. Haven't checked today. Anyway, take care of yourselves, all of you. Look after your health. Look after each other, your families, and I will see you again. Thanks again.